Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Spotlight Productions and today we have a video about the college football game Grid Iron Champions College Football returning to the universe with hopefully this game Grid Iron Champions. If you're brand new here, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new, turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video. And with that said, let's get right into the video. So, yeah, we have um yes or It'll be two days uh, um, behind. I didn't get time to upload this um, yesterday, or I would have. I'm recording this yesterday for you guys, but um, Gridiron Champions is um, has been a game that's been floating around since uh, it's been probably about a year or so. That's just been floating around possibility of college football coming back. Um, that hopefully that that would end up happening and look where we are now. Um, basically they just, all they had was, um, the fundraiser, which, um, I wasn't sure if this was going to happen. So I did not participate in that, but now that it's going to happen, there's a good chance I'll be dropping some money on it as a donation. And also there is, um, there were just, um, game textures floating around a little bit. And that's basically all we knew about it and that it was going to be, one great game if we do get it Two days ago april 23rd 2018 um this wasn't out of nowhere but this was um kind of it just came out of not a weird time but just came out of the blue because we haven't heard much about it except for just updates on their social medias about game stuff um we get a press release that says college football game gridiron champions to launch in 2020 aquaman vision game Acronym Vision Gaming announces plans for the flagship game. Now, this is absolutely huge for the college football community. College football is basically back with this uh, game that they're going to make. And this game, it has a lot of pros and hopefully not as many cons. But I could see the cons where they could come in and mess us up. So, let's get right into this press release. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have it up the whole time. But I know for sure that there's definitely, um, during the video somewhere, there's definitely going to be um concept art that's going to be floating around a little bit so yeah we're going to get right into the press release so college football or sorry atlanta georgia april 23rd 2018 akamai vision gaming miv is, is excited to announce they are underway towards grid iron champions a college football game which uh, participates filling the void in today's marketplace with the expected launch date of 2020 which gamers will be able to purchase via digital download through services like playstation xbox and steam online stores priced at 59.99 game that sentence just basically explained what the game was and when it's going to be available and the prices and platforms going on Gridiron Champions will offer a unique experience to gamers by allowing them the opportunity to customize playing player uniforms, stadiums, fame atmosphere, and recreate property through the, this unique college football experience. In quotation marks, there is no college football game on the market that offers a creative experience like Gridiron Champions, and we're excited to be the first to hit the marketplace in 2020, says Alex Alex Lewis, CEO of IMV. Um, this is the big part of the game. It's going to be all user friendly and you're going to be able to customize it and do so many things with it. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot to mention uh, a lot of this information. Um, Fulamo Raps, he's been with the uh, IMV Gaming. He's an investor, but he's been with it since. Um, actually, um, a little backstory here real quick. But um, IMV originally went to Fulamo Raps when he had about 2,000 subscribers, he said. Uh, that he was um their information their source of information for college football games which is completely crazy but he's he's got a lot to do with this he's even got his own team in there but um yeah pretty nuts but um yeah basically that it's going to be all user friendly we can do whatever we want if we want to make a team that has um like I don't know we get you can do any color you want like let's say we want to make a team a Cleveland Browns port at, as a college football team no problem with that right up and hopefully they can let you have them like unlimited uniform combination stuff that would be f awesome i mean like maybe like cap it like five helmets five uniforms like five jerseys and five pants sock options will be thankful most said shoes and yeah that's going to be really cool um hopefully the pictures flash on the screen i'm pretty sure they are but as you can see in these pictures the player designs in my opinion look really good Honestly, because uh, you just went over there and looked at them. They do look a little bit different, but I think it will work fine. 
and honestly, they just look really, really good. Um, all the animations look good. The uh, menu screens, it's going to change, take some getting used to, but I think it looks pretty good. But yeah, I, I'm pretty impressed with the custom agility, um, all the playoff stuff. Hopefully the ranking stuff ends up being good. Hopefully recruiting. I, there should be one picture of that at least. But it's um, different. But it's something that we can get used to. And um, I'm also pretty excited. I won't have to whip up my 360 every time I want to play a college football game now. Because we got Gridiron Champions. But this is still two years ahead. We could keep, be getting a ton more information about this. So yeah. Um, moving on. IMV has partnered with the top tier investment core group. Two of... of a value the company structure and planning along a top down infrastructure including internal management company growth plans including a ipo strategy and laying the groundwork for a combination of equity and debt projected to exceed 10 million wow the original budget was supposed to be 5 million but 10 million oh they're gonna have so much we lay with what they want to do with this game hopefully it ends up just being as good as they're hyping it up to be Okay, after working for two years uh, towards the um, innovation and unique concepts of Gridiron Champions, IV Gaming has um, hands with professional athletes, Oakland Raiders, Alexander, and Brooklyn Nets is, um, sorry, my computer went off, um, Dunware. And, um, yeah, there's some of the investors along with Fulmo Raps and many others. Um, the college football experience hasn't been uh, void. A long time hasn't been filled. And IMV has robust plans with the feature not in mind. Um, I don't know why I missed the sentence here, but uh, also they had uh, a licensed game in 2021, including uh, concepts of college basketball experience, which would be awesome. And yeah, so that's really cool stuff. Um, I'm going to have some pictures flashing up on the screen right now, like Pacific ones, that I'm going to go look at real quick. Um, I'm on my computer right now if you're curious, but... Um, yeah, the cover art looks pretty good, I feel like. Um, so, yeah, it it's just a really good game. I'm actually going to leave the pictures for you guys to look at yourself. But, um, yeah, I'm a huge fan of the Oklahoma Tech team. That's going to be one I'm using because I'm from Oklahoma, and I really enjoy that. And I also like just all the customizability, like um, looking at the player models one more time. It's something different, but, I mean, yeah, it's it, I like how it looks so far. Um, it's definitely... It's definitely something different compared to NCAA or Madden. It's definitely something different. I feel like it's more like you could say it's more cheesy, but at the same time, you can say it's not bad. Um, and yeah, Gridiron Champions. I mean, hopefully, it ends up being as good as they're saying it is. The concept art looks pretty good to me. Um, and hopefully, it ends up being as good as um they say it's gonna be. Uh, looking at the pre-sell, or that's just a video, but, um, oh yeah, so they reached the fundraiser goal, and they got the $10 million budget, so, yeah, you can still pre-order the game up until launch, and yeah, it's pretty cool stuff, and their website will be in the description, Flim Little Rats video is going to be in the description, my thoughts about this game, you know, this game could be a, boom, a do or die, a terrible game, or an amazing game. It has a lot of different ways you can go because this is a first-time company. So, yeah, let's look at the pros. The pros, I think this is everybody's thing. Custom agility is going to be absolutely crazy. I compare it to, like, NBA 2K and WWE, how you can edit the arenas and, and stadiums. That is what I'm comparing it to, really, because I feel like the custom agility is going to be similar to that. Something like that. It's probably going to be a little bit more in depth, but I feel like it's going to be something like that. And you know, I think that's pretty good for what we want. And you can edit all the uniforms and all that jazz. And um, you, I, it says they have up to 126 teams. So one day, um, it might take a while, but I'm sure we'll have the um people um whoever make the rosters. I forgot the name. My bad. But whoever make the rosters for the um NCAA games right now. Uh, they'll probably go in there, I'm assuming, and uh, make the whole, every team, all that jazz, and make it out to the public. So we'll have all of the teams and everything in a modern game. Now, um, honestly, this game's not going to be a yearly release so f right now because, I mean, it's not. it doesn't look to be a yearly release as of right now. It will be at some point, I feel like, but not right now. 
it just I'm just really excited that we're going to have a game for college football once again. And to go along with all this, um, it's going to be released in 2020. I'm trying to mention that, but um, yeah, that is two years down the line, and it's going to be a while. But, but um, another t- pro that we have, Customer Agility. Um, another pro is that the um, company is very open to what the public has to say about it. And um, do a lot of things that we've wanted. For example, the four-team playoff, they're adding that in 18 and 16. All that, you can do all that. And um, I'm sure that they've they've listened to all the customizability, of course. And um, I think they've also listened to a lot of what everybody's has, what everybody's had to say about the game. But um, let's see, other things that they've listened to, I just f- feel like they know what all we got going on here. Um, if we get a, let me, I'm just looking through it. I mean. The menus look different, like I said, but it's going to be able to be getting used to. But yeah, I feel like they're going to do a great job with this game. And there is one Pacific picture. It's the um, one that says your name here in the first half rushing stats. Just looking at the seats down there and the little bit of field, not bad, not bad. Like the field is better than I expected from what this little picture shows us. Because I didn't even look at the graphic. The graphic's pretty cool, but what I'm really looking at right now is the seats. And the seats... Not bad. I think they're pretty good. I mean, yeah, they are a little cheesy, but at the same time, not bad at all. And you want to be able to make whatever stadiums you want and all kinds of stuff. I'll be doing Dynasty with Oklahoma Tech. my plan as of right now. And, yeah, there's just so much custom agility in this game. It's just going to be amazing. That's how I feel. So, yeah, guys, Um, and also a con before I go. This is the only real con that I have concerns with is with people how, with this being a first time thing them doing this game for the first time and how um people are kind of biased and like the um EA sports games some people may not give it a chance to just bash it off the bat and I don't feel like that's fair so hopefully that doesn't become an issue but we'll see so yeah guys I think that wraps it up here um thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're brand new turn on the notification bell if you're brand new um and yeah uh formal raps explains a lot more about of it to us so i would go watch his video about it as well and uh yeah so um tulsa dynasty is going to be coming out on friday uh we're playing at minnesota if you missed the michigan video that um will be it's in the link in the description and it's probably in um it's on my channel if you want to go watch it came out a couple days ago um it was the one versus michigan like i said and um yeah, really pumped for this game. I'll be doing gameplay on it, that's for sure. And uh, one thing that I was kind of surprised at is I'm sure you're going to have it, but I'm kind of surprised we don't have any like concept art for uh, Road to Glory mode. I don't know how they're going to do that, but hopefully they end up doing that. And yeah, guys, so that's what I got to say about the game. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day.